Right then, boys and girls, before we get into today's episode, as you can see on screen right now, Champions League quarter-final draw. Let's see who we get. So this will be the second game in today's episode we're going to draw. So the teams left in the draw, Madrid, Arsenal, Bayern, Juve, Liverpool, Real and Spurs all left in the draw. We are probably the weakest team in this draw. So all these big boys looking to play us. So let's draw out, out of the hat. Arsenal first will play Real Madrid. Bilbao, we are, we are third out of the hat. And we will play Liverpool. So the Merseysiders will be coming to the San Memes for the first leg. And then we'll be going to Anfield for one of those magical nights in Europe. Um, which will be absolutely phenomenal. Let's draw all the rest of the teams. Tottenham will play Bayern. Juve will play Atletico Madrid. So today's episode will be Real Madrid away at the uh, Santiago Bernabeu in the league. A massive game for us there. And then the first leg at home at the San Memes in the Champions League quarterfinal against Liverpool. Roll the titles. So then, Liverpool in the Champions League. Very, very tough draw. First leg is going to come up in the second game today. And then the first game, as you can see on screen, is against Real Madrid. So, uh, since we last met against Man United in that very, very big one all draw with a away goal win uh, in the uh, Champions League, we've uh, had three really good wins. Uh, two at home, one away. Uh, we first played Granada. 2-1 at home, Ignacin Williams and Ika Munayin both scoring the goals in the San Memes to get us a 2-1 win. A very, very, very lucky 1-0 uh, away win with Juanmi Halaron uh, scoring the own goal for us. And we were down to 10 men. Uh, Balanzega getting sent off uh, for after the 51st minute. Uh, it was 10 men apiece in that game, but we scraped away a 1-0 win. Uh, we didn't play particularly well in that game, uh, but all in all, a very, very good win for us. And then Zaragoza, uh, last to come up, a good, comfortable 3-0 win for us there, John Baptista, uh, Zaraga and Uri from the penalty spot all scoring and uh, a 3-0 win for us against Zaragoza which was uh, basically a really good um, good three games there, good wins and this is how the, this is how the, the table sees, so as you can see last match day it was a, a big, big um, El Clasico Barcelona beating Madrid 1-0 out of the Camp Nou, which means we are now four points clear of uh, the Real Madrid going into this game against them at the Bernabeu. So hopefully we can come out with a good positive result. I'll take a draw at the minute as we speak. Very, very much so. I'll take a draw already. And then we go to the San Memes in our second game today against Liverpool in that quarterfinal first leg of the Champions League. This will be the starting lineup for the game against um, Real Madrid. We have beaten them in this save, and they've uh, they've come out on top twice before. No draws in the uh, in the three uh, three games against us. We're in excellent form, as you can see by our form table. This is going to be the starting lineup. Benya is going to come back in. Uh, Herrera is going to come back into the squad, uh, and Balenciaga might come back onto the bench as well. So this is going to be the team. Kepa in goal, Uri Nunez, Iñago Martinez at the back. Monreal on the left, DeMarcos on the right, Interaspe and Herrera in the middle. Williams on that right-hand side. Raul Garcia in behind Batista up top. And then on the on the bench, Oscar Gil, Balanzega, Benya, Zaraga, Unai Lopez, Ica Munain and Carlos uh, Martinez comes back on to the uh, bench from the under-19 squad just because Benito Franco picked up a little bit of an injury on international duty. So a little bit of rotation there and he'll probably go back onto the under-19s when Benito Franco Franco comes back into the swing of things. Let's submit that team and let's see how dangerous Real Madrid are going to be lining up against us today. They're going to be in a 4-3-3 formation. Naves in goal, Marcelo, Ramos, Vallejo and Carvajal at the back. Cruz, Modric and Asensio in that middle three, which is a phenomenal middle three. And then the top three, Isco, Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale. On the bench, they've got the likes of Vasquez, Benzema, uh, Vinicius Junior, uh, and also Iñago Aspas as well. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a frightening, frightening thing um, to come up against. Um, let's just leave that to the assistant. I'm just going to do a little bit more. I've got faith in the guys to go out there and produce a good result. As I said, take a point already. We've already qualified for the Europa League this season by our league performances. Um, we could qualify for the Champions League today as well. 
but first highlight of the game uh, comes to us from a uh, from a goal kick, and we just play it around the back, and we go long uh, up to Batista, but we do get the second ball from the midfield, and hopefully we can put our foot on the ball and just take the the pressure off a little bit. But Tony Cruz in the middle of the midfield into uh, into Isco on that left hand side, and Gareth Bale on the right hand side. He's going to use that turn of pace, and he does. And Kepper comes big with a really good save. Monreal diving into a challenge there, but uh, Kepper doing well. With the uh, with the shot blocked, Asensio on this left hand side into the back post, trying to find Ronaldo. Asensio again, he's brought down. I think that was by Ander Herrera, and it was. And it's going to be a penalty. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be stepping up for this one. Can he put the uh, can we can he put it away to make it one nil to Madrid? And he does. He sends Kepa the wrong way. Uh, Ander Herrera, stupid little tackle there in the box. We were quite comfortable there, really, to be fair. And Cristiano Ronaldo does what he does best and puts that into the uh, far side, take Kepa the wrong way. And again, it's another Madrid highlight. We, we seem to be going on the uh, on the back foot here. No one really taking the uh, the sting out of the game for us. Gareth Bale into Cristiano Ronaldo, into Asensio. Good fast-flowing football from Ronaldo, from Madrid. And that's now 2-0, quick fire double for Madrid. And uh, yeah, it looks like this game is well and truly done already. I don't see our boys coming back from this at all. Good, quick decisive football here from uh, from Madrid. Asensio into Isco and Isco just drills it across and bails there at the far post. 2-0 to Madrid. There is a highlight just before that. You ride down this left-hand side to Monreal. Can we get a goal Goal back before half time. Garcia over the top to Batista. Can he score? Batista one on one with Naves, and Naves makes a big, big save. Goes big and uh, keeps Batista out. Um, Carver Howe down the right hand side to Gareth Bale into Modric. Nice patient. They've been very patient in their uh, build up. Have Real Madrid and then turned on the gas when they needed to. Gareth Bale down this right hand side back into Modric. Should possibly have gone to Cruz. Cristiano Ronaldo comes off the front into Asensio, into Isco again, and uh, nice and patient, but Uriah does well and steps in there and goes back to Kepa, and we're trying to find Batista up the top, and we do. Raul Garcia knocks it down into Naki Williams' pace. Can he get a shot on goal? He can, but Navas again, good save. It was comfortable for him at that near post, it's, and that is going to be it. 2-0 to Madrid, a terrible two minutes, two goals in two minutes for Madrid. Really kind of uh, making a statement in this game. And uh, let's go to the dressing room. And I'm going to just get really aggressive with them and say, show me something else in the second half because that was appalling. It was absolutely horrendous. Let's start this second half and go back out there. Let's start like the second half just before the hour mark. Your eyes going big over the top for uh, John Batista. Batista's just holding on to the ball and seeing if we can get anybody in the middle. Iñaki Williams coming in there, but Navas done really, really well in gathering and collecting that ball. Asensio now onto the ball into Isco. Isco being closed down really well by two of our players, but get the ball over to Gareth Bale on this right-hand side into Modric. Good play from Modric there into Carver Howe. Carver Howe whips the ball in. Benzema's come on for Cristiano. Asensio acres of space into Isco. Modric is there and Kepa lets it through him. Thought it was going to be a highlight for us, but it's a highlight for Madrid. They've now furthered their uh, their advantage. 3-0 to Madrid. And uh, yeah, Kepa probably should have done a little bit better. Let's see this in 3D. Modric into the, onto the edge. Asensio loads of space around him there. Into Isco, into Modric. A powerful shot. Kepa needs to be doing better and at least keeping that out. It's 3-0 to Madrid. Uh, hour mark gone, but there is a highlight after their goal. And a Herrera over to Martinez. Is it going to be for us? DeMarcos getting in the way and going down to Iñaki Williams on that right hand side. Herrera bursting forward. Can he get a cross into Batista? He can. And Navas tips the ball over. Batista getting in front of his man there, tipping the ball, uh, tipping the ball towards the back post. But Navas pushes it over, making some changes now. With about 25 minutes to go, Martinez is going to come on for John Batista. Uh, we're going to bring on Zaraga for Iñaki Williams. And Monreal's coming off for Balenzaga. Those are going to be the three changes. It's probably not going to change much in this second half against Madrid. Does seem to be a little bit better than us. Um, and say they come, they're now a point behind us in the league. Uh, hopefully the goal difference doesn't crucify us too much. Lovely ball over the top from Zaraga to Martinez. Just come on and he shoots horribly, horribly wide. The youngster there, but again, only 17 years old. He's going to get better as the years progress. Carvajal now 10 minutes to go in the uh, in the game. 
getting the ball, trying to get the ball in. Raul Garcia closing the ball down, now closing down Cruz into Modric. Modric into Asensio. Asensio just taking the ball on and driving forward into Isco on that left-hand side. Now, now over to Marcello, but Martinez does a great job in heading that clear. And now Ander Herrera trying to burst forward, but again, Asensio in the way. Gareth Bale on this right-hand side, whipping the ball in, and DeMarcos doing a good job yet again, and Herrera knocking the ball clear. But it's just coming back to, towards us, really, Bilbao can't really get out of their own half. Martinez now taking the ball by the scruff of net, but it's a poor pass. And Benzema's been caught, have been put on side by the uh, by the Bilbao defence. Benzema makes it 4-0 with about 12 minutes to go. And it's a terrible, terrible uh, goal to concede. Martinez just trying to get the ball forward and do a little bit, do a little bit of something, but gives the ball away. Marcello gets the ball forward and it's uh, I think it's Martinez on this right hand side, a right centre back keeping him on, but Benzema just puts the ball in the back of the net. 4-0 to Madrid now, and that is it. Full time has gone. 4-0 to Madrid. Wind taken out of our sails within that first 25 or two goals in two goals in two minutes, really, and uh, couldn't recover from that at all. Penalty from Cristiano Ronaldo, Bale, Modric, and Benzema all scoring, and that's 4-0 to Madrid. Going to say to the boys, unlucky. It was nice to win, but just wasn't our day. Wasn't our night. Uh, but it still keeps us top of the table by a point, and our running isn't the isn't the easiest. So uh, we've got Raul Sociedad next. We've got Alaves, Raul Sociedad, Leganes, Malaga. We've then also got to go to the uh, Camp Nou in Barcelona, and then we finish off Levante in the league. But next up, as I said, it's going to be Liverpool at home and the San Memes Champions League quarterfinal first leg. I'll see you when we get there. So the big game of today's episode. Bilbao versus Liverpool in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. The first leg, of course. We did play a game in between uh, the Madrid game and this one. And that was a 1-0 win against Alaves. Um, we had to really fight for it. Unai Lopez got sent off in the 20th minute. And Herrera coming on from off the bench and uh, scoring a goal in the 39th minute. And then we just basically shut up shop. 1-0 win there. And uh, basically that keeps us top of the table by four points yet again. So this weekend got off to a really good start for us just because Sevilla beat Madrid 2-1 uh, at home. Um, so that kind of dropped them off the pace. We then went on to beat Alaves 1-0 um, and then Barcelona have won as well. So I'm four points ahead of Madrid and Barcelona in the league and it looks like it's going to be a three-horse race going into the final uh, stages of this season. And uh, yeah, could be a really good one for us as well. So four points clear going into the season and uh, not many games left in the league. One, two, three, four, five games left in the league. And yeah, very, very good to see. So this is going to be the team that's going to play against Liverpool. Kepper in goal. Uriah Nunez and Martinez at the back. Monreal, DeMarcos, Interaspe, Herrera, Williams, Raul Garcia and Batista. On the bench, Oscar Gil, Balanzega, Unai Lopez, Zaraga, Benya, Rico and Carlos Martinez. Liverpool come in to the San Memes on a 4-3-3. Uh, uh, they've got Mignolet in goal. Milner at left back. Matip, Van Dijk and Alexander-Arnold at right back. Henderson, Torreya and Keita in the middle of midfield. Roberto Firmino on the left. Salah on the right. And Petagna uh, up top. Uh, don't really know too much about, about him. Uh, Atalanta player signing for 13.25 million. Seven goals in 12 appearances. So not a, not a bad uh, not a bad forward really to be fair. Robertson, Lalana, Mane, uh, Brahimi, Klein and Sturridge all on the bench. So yeah, very good uh, Liverpool side. Something that we're um, something that's dangerous really on the break. So we need to be careful of that because we do play on the control uh, kind of attack really. So it's susceptible to the to the counter attack. So let's see if we can uh, get a very good positive result in this first leg and we can go to Anfield in the next episode and hopefully pull off yet another upset. Raul Garcia being taken, uh, t being uh, closed down by Jordan Henderson and Mo Salah now driving forward and Petagna uh, back to Henderson and they're controlling the midfield ever so slightly into Torre and uh, Petagna being just coasting off the back line there. Ka Kaita into uh, Bobby Firmino and goes back to Henderson. Good patient play. Mo Salah down that right, right hand side and Kepa keeps the ball out. Nine minutes on the clock and uh, Liverpool looking very, very dangerous. Very, very composed in the middle of midfield. The Henderson really making them tick in the middle of midfield with Torreya and Kater And Mo Salah there has put the ball in the back of the net. An away goal for Liverpool. A very soft goal to concede for Bilbao. I wasn't commentating just because it was a corner and didn't expect to. Henderson 
on that left-hand side. Mo Salah driving forward and just drilled the ball into the back post. I think he was expecting someone to get a touch on it and uh, it went straight in. 1-0 now to Liverpool. Bilbao on the back foot. Highlight for Bilbao, hopefully. Monreal down this left-hand side on uh, alongside Trent alexander Arsenal. Batista's through and uh, good save by Mignolet. Ten minutes to go before half-time. Really good swift move down that left-hand side. Um, but just couldn't get the, the shot on uh, shot past Mignolet. But Mignolet now injured and Norman has come on on that right uh, in goal. And uh, we've picked up a knock as well. DeMarcos um, basically... Picking up an injury as well just before half time. A groin injury for him. We're going to have to see who Norman is uh, in, in goal for, uh, for Liverpool. DeMarcos cannot continue. We're going to have to go into the tactics and just see if we can do something. Bringing Balanzaga on that right hand side. Um, DeMarcos can't really continue. He's on 58% already. And uh, let's go back to the team talk. I'm just going to say, yeah, disappointing really. I'm going to go assertive. Um, it's time for everyone to dig in. We, need, we deserve to win this match. Let's go out and do it. No, that's probably not what we need. So show me something else in the uh, in the second half. Let's start that second half and we'll see who this goalkeeper is for Liverpool. Um, yeah, possibly a youngster, possibly someone they've brought in. So let's just pause it there. Alan Norman, 16-year-old youngster, not the best. So hopefully if we can get some shots in on goal, we can uh, see what he's made of. But we need to get past that defence first. Alexander-Arnold hits the post from a free kick. Two minutes gone in the second half. Yeah, not the best of starts that we needed. Highlight now. Nunez getting above uh, getting above the strike and go falls to Mo Salah. Mo Salah up to Pentanga and then Keita picking up that second ball. Out to Bobby Firmino, into, into Keita, back to Henderson. Metronomic in the middle of midfield. Over to Mo Salah. Mo Salah over the top to Roberto Firmino and that's 2-0 to Liverpool. 15 minutes to go now. We've and uh, we, we can't we can't sit back anymore. We're going to go attacking for the final 15 minutes. Mo Salah on this right hand side chips the ball over. Bobby Firmino rises above Balenciaga, and that's two 0 to Liverpool. But we take a kick off straight off the uh, the highlight of theirs. We have our own. Hopefully, Raul Garcia into Ander Herrera out to this right hand side. Balenciaga on the right hand side through to Martinez and he tackle. Um, Virgil van Dijk tackles him. I thought that was going to be a chance for Martinez to score, but we recycle the ball and uh, lovely ball over the top to Balenciaga yet again. Jimmy Milner's there. Martinez is there. Hits the post and they get it clear. We still haven't really done too much against this uh, young uh, goalkeeper for Liverpool. We need to at least get shots on target for him. Kepa now picking up that loose, uh, loose kind of clearance from Liverpool. You ride down this left-hand side into, into Raspe and we trying to play it through midfield. Raul Garcia over the top to Nacho Monreal. Monreal down this left-hand side into Martinez again. Martinez heads the ball over. Lovely football from Bilbao. We've gone 2-0 down but we're playing some lovely stuff. If we can get a goal back we're back in the tie. 2-0 and it's a mountain to climb having to go to Anfield and score two goals at least. Martinez through in on goal but Matip doing really well. Out to Monreal. Can he get a ball in? He can. Trying to go for the far post but Norman is there to, uh, to collect really comfortably and he's going to get the ball up field and see if they can get him on another attack but Nunez does really well now in Yaki Williams one-on-one -on -one with uh, James Milner into Ander Herrera lovely ball to Martinez Martinez shoots and shoots wide would it have been a different story if Benito Franco was fit enough to play in this game possibly uh, he's in, been in the goals this season as Benito Franco that's a loose pass from Raul Garcia trying to get Mo Salah down that left hand side but good covering from uh, Monreal but again another loose pass from Martinez but Roberto Firmino into Torreya Torreya shoots Torreya scores and that is 3-0 and I think that is tie over. We need we'll need to go to Anfield and score three goals just to be, just be on level terms really. But that's a loose pass from Martinez trying to get it up to Raul Garcia and Rob, Roberto Firmino. Lovely ball over the top to Torreya. Torreya then takes his time. Near post shot. 3-0 to Liverpool and uh, yeah I think it is as I said tie over. That's it. Final whistle has gone. Liverpool 3 Bilbao 0. Three away goals for the uh, Reds from Merseyside. And it's going to be an uphill task for uh, for us to really go to Anfield and score at least three goals. Not been the best... Um, not been the best episode today. Two losses, two heavy losses as well. 4-0 against Madrid, 3-0 against Liverpool. And uh, we just pick ourselves up and go again in the next episode. That next episode will be straight after. We're going to be Real Sociedad away 
at uh, at Sociedad Basque Derby. Hopefully we can pick ourselves up and win that one. And then the second leg, miracles do happen. Hopefully we can go to Anfield and have put in a better performance than we did at the San Memes. But that is it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content. Hit that little bell icon so it goes straight into your sub boxes and you get notified. And until next time when we bring you the Basque Derby and the second leg of the Champions League, I'll see you soon.